All right, Keys Mods fans, this is a cool day because I'm getting my, uh, my walk-in moth trap set up. It's a light trap. That's, this is my house. And I'm getting this set up to be able to put on right here in Broward County. And it's kind of like in a hidden spot where my wife, it, the light's not gonna go in people's windows. It's like on the side of the house. Here I got a bunch of trees and stuff. So the light will go up and it hopefully attract moths. And now I'm gonna show you all about this thing. I'll show you what we're gonna do right now. Check it out. I'm excited about this. Sure thing. Yeah. All right, Dan, what you got here, man? This is a walk-in light trap. <laughs> made out of four screen doors. Four screen? Yeah, 175 watt mercury vapor bulb, clear and mounted on top. My and goodness. Yeah, it goes on and off, dust filled on, light set up. Like yeah, there's a giant leopard moth in there right now. There is a giant leopard moth. Look at that. Yeah. Look Sit at that. And you run this every night? Yeah, automatically comes on as soon as it gets dark. Wow, and it's got oh, it's got a sensor. Yes. Cool. Yep. So, and this is just out of four screen doors. That's it. Very simple. And this stuff. So, Modified. so that you have the vein that goes across the length of yeah, the a V channel. That's about an inch wide opening that they funnel down into. And that's it. That's so, awesome, man. And okay, and so you don't have this bolted in the ground or anything. This is no, just no, resting on a. It's it's tied to the back of the fence with cables. Basically. Got it. As you can see here. Got it. So it won't blow over during storms. That's yeah. that's amazing. Well, I I love it, man. I love it. I love it. This is the magic, huh, Dan? Yes, finally. Finally. We've been talking about this for years. Yeah, this has been sitting in his garage disassembled for years. A couple of years, yeah. It was in my uncle's backyard for about <laughs> 10 years, and then, unfortunately, he passed away. And okay. Now, now David Fine is inheriting it. Oh, man. Well, yeah. Noemi has no idea what's coming to the house, but we've got a mercury vapor bulb like right in here, and looking forward to it. Dan, how can people find you on eBay? Um, just um, search for FL Bugs for, by a seller search or just my products. Look for uh, professional moth collecting light and my setups will come up. Okay, so, and you sell what, 175? 175, 250, 400, and 1,000 watts. You're doing 1,000 so, watts too? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now it's time to get this bad boy in the back of the truck. Right. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it looks like it'll fit nicely inside there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to go. All right, fast forward, y'all. I'm actually home, and we got the, the trap, the light trap here in one piece without incident. Uh, now the trick is I need to get this thing off my truck and to the side of my house and then we got to start setting it up. I don't know if I'm going to get to it today, but we'll, uh, we'll get to you guys when we get it set up. All right. Here's what we're going to do guys. Uh, first thing I had a big pile of these, uh, I think they're 18 inch by 18 inch concrete squares. I had like a big mountain of them. I brought a bunch of them over to the other side of my house where my boat is. And I'm going to kind of make a little patio there for my boat tire where my trailer is. But um, what I'm going to do here, uh, right now the, this thing is blocking the door of my little shed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these down. I dug out the dirt here. So this is kind of like my, my first go here. And I'm going to slide this thing over so that it's level with uh, the corner of my house. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna put these concrete things underneath it so that uh, it's, it's got a nice solid ground underneath. Uh, I'm gonna load up diatometric earth all over the place down here so that ants don't get in and eat my moths. And uh, it's just cool, man. It's like, uh, it's gonna be neat to, uh, to, uh, to see this thing in, in action. Uh, we'll see how it goes. 
I've got a lot of work to do, so I'll fill you in, guys, as uh, as we go here. Oh, all right. All right. My my daughter's laughing at me. So is Thomas. I'm not. I'm laughing, just laughing at me. All right, here we go, guys. We are, okay. Before we plug it in, hold on a second. Let's, we're not going to do the drum roll thing. However, um, we've got our 175 watt mercury vapor bulb uh, in the socket here. We've got a, a, a photo cell that supposedly tells it when to turn off once the, once the sun comes up. Um, the cord. This is a self ballasted uh, bulb here, so the ballast is actually inside of this housing. The cord goes through here. We're going to set it up. All right. And now, Thomas, right. go for it, buddy. Come on, baby. Oh, there it goes, baby. <laughs> May the mercury awesome. burn. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So here's. <laughs> All right. So the photo cell worked. Uh, I was wondering why it shut off. And it was simply because. It was daylight, and there's a little apparatus on the top there called a photocell. And when it's daylight, that thing shuts off. So you can leave it plugged in, and when uh, when the sun comes up in the morning, the uh, oh, well, I wonder what. That's weird, huh? Well, I'm not sure what just happened. It's actually interesting. What happens is the moths fly at the light. They wind up hitting one of these, these veins. And when they hit the vein, they fall down through the crack. When they come in through the crack, they're inside of the cage. And uh, so yeah, so I don't know why it shut off. It's a little weird. Okay, after some troubleshooting, uh, we realized what was happening. The photo cell on the top, I had to put black plastic on top of it with some duct tape because it's facing north, which is that way. And I think the reason that the light turned off was because the street light came on and it was just bright enough to trip the photo cell and turn my light off. So, um, we are going to uh, see if this stays on. It should stay on, I'm guessing. I have the photo cell covered on top, and we're gonna see, wait and see what our first customer will be. What will be our first moth in our moth trap on the side of the house? Guys, let's check it out. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes or so and uh, it looks like there's a ton of beetles so far floating in. And one of the things that uh, I'm gonna need to do is we do have plenty of ants around. And if I don't do something, I'm just gonna have a big ant farm here that, that's gonna come and devour all the, all the bugs. So one of the tricks is get some of this diatomaceous earth and um, And then what I'm going to do, so this stuff here, apparently this diatomaceous earth uh, keeps, keeps all kinds of stuff from, let's see. Yeah, so the, uh, the diatomaceous earth apparently is, is very harmful to ants and they, they freak out. Um, they will not walk on it, apparently. So I don't know how often you're gonna need to do this. If uh, <laughs> if it rains, if it keeps raining, I'm sure it will, you know, wipe, wash the stuff away. But I'm just gonna make a nice little border around the outside of my, of my, uh, light rig and I have these these things here 
to uh Okay. Got plenty of diatomaceous earth now. All right, let's see what the first moths are gonna be. Did I see a moth go in? I thought I saw a moth. Yeah, there's a lot of beetles. Okay, this is how it works. You literally just open the door and walk in. And so, oh look, there's a moth right there. Looks like a Melopotus. He didn't make it all the way in. Get in. Okay, now he's in. All right, now that's a Melopotus. And so that is moth number one of my light trap. It's Melopotus. I don't know what species it is, but I'm gonna go get a kill jar and uh, document species number one. It's a nice one. There's a lot of June beetles, oh my gosh. Lots of June beetles. Okay, well, moth number one, guys, actually, there's another one, there's a deltoid. Moth number two. Uh, I like it a lot, guys. I wish this guy would have made it in without me helping him in, but anyway. <clears throat> All right, guys, there's a couple noctuids in the trap. There's one near. I saw a Melopotus floating around. I don't know if it ever made it inside the trap. But I definitely, definitely saw a Melopotus. Um, let me see if he's on top. Oh, there he is. So there's the Melopotus. See if he makes his way in. Oh, there he's there, sitting right on the rim. Okay, let's try this. Got him. Got him. Okay, well, he didn't go in the trap. I got him off the side of the light. So, so far the Melopotus, I've been watching him for like the last 20 minutes. And he just had, didn't, never found his way inside. So, but I am gonna come and uh, get this other guy. There's a little. Let's see. Ethel's got some good knockdown power. Okay, we got a lot of June beetles floating in. Um, so we got two species of noctuids so far. No, we got a couple little micros floating in. I'll start. I'll start getting like a collection of data as to the species that show up here. But right now, I'm just want to show you guys some of the bigger stuff. Anyway, there we go. There's another moth floating in. They're buzzing in. See how it goes. The lights, kind of where it's positioned is a little hidden because obviously the house blocks the light from going that way. And there's all these trees right here that block it from this way. So, you know, it's a little limited, but I don't want it like out here where it's gonna be all up in my neighbor's, you know, windows and everything. But it, it gives enough light where it'll draw some stuff. So we'll see how it goes. All right, see how it goes in a little bit.
check this out. A couple cool guys here. There's actually some tiger beetles coming to my light. This is actually the fourth one. Oop. There we go. Comment down below if you can identify that thing. But even cooler than that, check this dude out. Bam. It's been forever since I've seen one of these guys. I've never seen one here. So that's a really cool record. Xanthopastis tomea. Spanish moth. I love it. Unfortunately, these are guys that landed on top of my trap. They didn't go in. So... There's not much in the trap, but these guys are on top. So anyway, cool bugs. I like you guys. I'll let you guys know how I do. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, you guys got to check out Dan Hyman, my buddy Dan. He lives in Orlando. He's got a um, he's got a uh, eBay account. It's FL Bugs on eBay, and uh, if you put Mercury Vapor Lights FL Bugs on eBay, it should you know it should come up in the search. Uh, he sells, you know, 175 watts. He sells 220, 250s, 400 and 1,000 watt lights. He has all kinds of stuff for you guys. So check him out. It's the best deal in town. So hope, hope you guys like the video. Till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Let's catch us some bugs. Bye now.